Hi, welcome back to sixth video of chapter two. Hope all of you are in a good health. Today, I'm going to explain about binding subjects. Previous class, you already learned about the binary addition and rules of the binary addition. Now, discuss first of all. Let us discuss the rules of binary subtracts. Binary subtraction similar to you can uh, see here the arithmetic arithmetic uh, decimal number system which you have are familiar. So once you compare this uh, binary subtraction and uh, similarly you can you have seen the binary addition and uh, this is very simple once you understand. See here zero minus zero. That is zero. Similar to the arithmetic, one minus zero that is one, or zero. One minus one that is zero, and zero minus one that is subtract zero and borrow one. So you must keep in mind when you are going to solve any arithmetic, uh, any uh, binary subtraction. Now, going to discuss a few examples. Now, see here. Subtract binding numbers 100, zero, zero, one, zero, from 101100 one, in both decimal and binary form. Hey. So, first of all, just convert these number to decimal form. How can we do this? Now, what is the place value of this one? One, two, leave the, all the zeros. Because once you multiply by zero, you get zero. So one, two, four, eight. So this is the one position, one, this is the two. One, two, four, leave it, eight. Then 16 here, 32 leave it because it has 0 and 32 then 64. Now, then 64 plus 16 that is 80, 80 plus 8, 88, 2, 90 and 1, 91. You can just write down the decimal equivalent that is the 91. Now, sum of these number, 0 is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. This is 16 or plus uh, 2. Then we can write down 16 plus 2, that is 8. So now, able to convert this binding number into Decimal four. Yes. Now put a subtract something. And you can simply do this 11 minus 8 is 3, 11, right? And uh, when you borrow this is the 8. And 8 minus 1, that is the 7. So now it's 73. Now solve this simple example. 1 minus 1 here, 1 minus 0, that is you can see right now. 1 minus 1, that is again 0. 2 minus 0, that is 0. 1 minus 0, that is 1. 1 minus 1, that is 0. And 0, just need to put here the 0. And 1 minus 1, is the actual idea. 1. Now, should we get this answer? 1, double 0, 1, double 0, and 1. Now, check. So what is the place value here? You can see 1, 2, 4, 8. Leave the 0 positions. 1, 2, 4, 8. So it is here, sum of, this is 1, place value, 2, 4, 8. This is the point. What is the place value of 8? Leave the 0, 8, 16, 32. Leave 
1632. This one is the 64. Uh, this is the 1248, 1632, and 64. Yes, 64. So 64 plus 8, that is 72 plus 1, that is 72. Here you can simply say this is the able to check, and this way you can find yourself. Yes, you are. So yeah, binary subtraction you have understand. I hope it's clear to you. And uh, also you can check this convert this uh, this into that decimal number and subtract easy. Now uh, similar questions earlier. Into another example so convert one zero zero plus zero one zero one minus one zero over zero 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 write down this thing so one minus zero here you can see that this is the one simply zero minus zero zero one minus one that is zero now 0 minus 1 can subtract so take a borrow from here from the left most side left side so once we borrow from here, here 1 it becomes 0 and we get this is the 10 right so now 10 that is we can say simply 1 2 once when you write down the one zero, it means what is in the arithmetic? Uh, that must be this is the ones place, this is the twos. This is the one into zero, you will get zero plus two, that is two. So simply you can say two minus one, that is one. Right? Now it is uh, zero, so we cannot uh, again we borrow from the left side here. Now it is ten. One. 0. This is again 1, one 0, which is 1 minus again 1 minus 0, that is 1 minus 0, that is 1. So you can write 1. Now, 0 minus 1 cannot take, we take borrow from the leftmost side, and now it is 1, 1. So 1 minus 1, 0, again 0 minus 0 is there. So don't need to write here. Now we can simply say one one zero zero zero. This way you can uh, solve the any binary subtraction based on the rules which I just explained. And uh, hope it is clear to you. Now you are able to solve binary subtraction and binary addition. Thanks for watching the video.